Hello again. I'm back in the beautiful village of Wooden Rivers. But this time, I'm not heading in that direction towards Bath. I'm going that way towards Newbury. And this is the section that I missed out on the way down. Join us as we cruise the summit of the KNA. Val has her first tunnel experience. We find a rather noisy mooring spot. We tune in to a Gardner engine and we gently drift through the tranquility of the KNA into Hungerford and on to the lovely canal town of Newbury. Going in. Oh, well, we've, we've, we've just seen the red kite over there, yeah. I'll keep an eye out for the kingfisher, yeah. Cheers. I look really short like that, I'm going to have to stand up. <laughs> stand up. <laughs> I'll do that in the background. <laughs> so we've just come up the four locks at Wooden Rivers and we are now on the summit of the Kennard and Avon Canal. Summit uh, going on here. Oh, <laughs> do you want to do the low pound joke as well? <laughs> okay, forget that. Right. Uh, yeah, we're now on the summit of the Kennard and Avon Canal, 450 feet above sea level. Uh, we've done 54 locks and only another 53 to go. Only? Only another 53 to go, but it's all downhill, so that makes it quite a bit easier. Red kites are birds of prey and were extinct from 1871 onwards. They were reintroduced in England and Scotland in the mid-90s. They seem to be plentiful on the K&A, Thames and Oxford waterways. Burbage Wharf is just coming up on the left. I had a friend many years ago when I was at art college. He came from Burbage and I came up here. To, uh, to his parents' house. Uh, and it was funny to think that 42 years later, I would be coming through here on a narrowboat. At the time, I had no idea there was a canal here, and it probably wasn't in water anyway. The water levels on the summit and on the Crofton flight can be problematic, and this section is often subject to restrictions, so it's a good idea to check with the CRT what times you can go through. We're just coming up to Bruce Tunnel. This is the only tunnel on the uh, Kennet and Avon Canal, well apart from um, what they call Bath Tunnels number one and two, which are basically just oversized bridges and not tunnels at all. This is a very big, under it. It's not very big at all. It's 500 and something yards, about a third of a mile long, I guess. So, um, it, and, and it is, you know, it's, it's a double width tunnel. So, so that's pretty. It's, good. it's easy. This is your first tunnel experience. Woo Woo. I've put the light on, by the way. Well, this is a first. I've never been at the front of a boat going through a tunnel before. Approaching Crofton Top Lock now. 
to start the long descent to the Thames. CRT lock fairies on. How cool is that? Not very cool at all. They opened the paddles for us and then went on their lunch break. And I thought we'd get help going down the flight. There's moorings on rings just below lock 60 and I've got one in mind but it looks like it's already taken. Good morning. We moored in this rather pleasant spot overnight outside Crofton Pumping Station. Inside that building is actually the oldest working uh, Cornish pump in the world. It was built in 1802. There is only one slight problem with the mooring and that is the proximity of the railway line. Personally, I don't mind it that much. But it is bloody close. Chisbury Hill Fort, dating from the Iron Age, probably first century. We are just about to leave the county of Wiltshire and enter the county of Berkshire. Um, I think this bridge is the, is the border actually. I've got a really soft spot, I've got a soft spot even for, uh, for Wiltshire as I think I said in a previous vlog. Uh, it is, really is a beautiful county and the people are lovely. Um, I also like Dorset. What about you? Have you got any favourite counties? Cheshire's nice. Cheshire? Oh, well, yeah, and lots of nice canals in Cheshire too. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, Cheshire's very pretty in places, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. So, um, yeah, bye-bye Wiltshire. What a shame. I'm sure we may well be back at some point. We'll have to see. Hungerford Marsh Lock has a swing bridge smack bang in the middle of it, but with the amount of traffic waiting to get through, it's just been left open. There appears to be a lot of grumpy people around the lock too. It seems the guy in the cruiser overtook the wide beam to get to the lock first. Not exactly good canal etiquette. 
This was once a very busy wharf, transporting timber and grain and stone. Bizarrely, there used to be an annual cigarette race. Men would swim in the canal whilst smoking, the winner being the first man across the line with a lighted cigarette. We're now sharing locks with the First Lady. The boats, that is, not the President's wife. She has a gorgeous sounding gardener energy. Entering Kintbury, you can't miss the Victorian Gothic Vicarage. Again, moorings on rings and a pleasant village a short walk away. A horse-drawn trip boat also operates from below Kintbury Lock. I remember Copslog from the Outward Journey, set in woodland. It's in a very pretty location, and the River Kennet joins the canal just below the lock.
One of the problems of mooring on pins is that occasionally you drive them into a wasp's nest. Now it's a fairly warm day here uh, and we've had to close the bow doors and a lot of the windows. And we've given them an hour to settle down but it doesn't look like they're going to do it so we're going to have to up sticks and move a bit further down the canal. I'm really looking forward to pulling these pins out. But there was little trouble from the wasps and we moored in a much nicer location, about half a mile away. Now I don't know who Budgie was, but seems to me he must have been a good bloke. West Mills, Newbury is a gorgeous place to moor. In fact, the whole canal area is pretty damn lovely. As usual, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, that would really help my channel. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can see when I upload new videos. Also, please share on your social media, that will help my channel an awful lot too. Okay, hopefully see you next time. Cheers now.